Hi, this is Andy Scott with North Shore Apartments and Condos. We're walking into 907 Washington, number 3N. It's a ground floor, three bedroom, two bath. It's really quite a big apartment. It's got two major living areas, and we're looking at one of them. You can see the laminated hardwood floors. The windows are newer, and they point to the north built-in air conditioning unit, which is also newer. If I step into the living room just for a sec, step back and show you the front door and you see this entryway with ceramic tile and nice big entry closet. It has its own uh, light fixture and you can see it's quite, quite long, maybe seven feet across with a hanging bar and a shelf. It's probably about 15 or 18 inches deep, so it makes a very good entry closet. Again, looking across from the entry closet, we see a nice big living area with the laminated hardwood floors, outlets on every wall. The windows are facing the parking lot. A parking spot is included with this unit, so that's terrific. See the AC unit. I think it's probably about 12 feet across at the wall we're looking at, and probably about 10 feet there. Uh, maybe a little less because of the hallway. Nice big space. As we walk into the apartment, if I turn to my left, we look across the kitchen, which can be used the dining area. You just see a little bit of the kitchen there, the fridge and the dishwasher. And you look across to another living area. Uh, I'm going to uh, walk further in, however, and right in front of us is a linen closet. And you see it's got a lot of shelves, probably about two feet across and about two feet deep. And then we look at the bottom there. If I go to my right, we have the first bedroom. Whoops, sounds like I'm bouncing off. The windows are still facing north. We have a uh, ceiling fan, a light fixture, a ceiling fan. And it's really quite a nice sized living room, probably. 11 or 12 feet from the longest point, nine and a half feet across or so. Again, the laminated hardwood floors. And here's where I was bumping up again. Terrific closet space. This is a little deeper than the entry closet, but probably not quite two feet deep. Shelf and a hanging bar. It does have a light fixture. I'm not turning that on. And then right next to it, sort of like a his and hers, there's, an, there's like a twin, another, this is probably more like five feet across and not quite two feet deep. So that's really terrific. If we look out from the closet, we see pretty good space, easily big enough for a queen size bed. There again is the ceiling fan, the windows facing north, but you get a lot of light. Um, outlets on every wall. Again, a queen-size bed would fit easily. You could probably put a king-size bed in here, but not quite as comfortably. You wouldn't get quite as much. You are looking out at the parking lot. The parking, you would get a parking spot, which is really great. And if we look back towards the door we came in, we see the two closets and the door we came in. We look across and we see the first bathroom next to the linen closet, which we already saw. We'll go into the second bedroom in a second, but I do want to show you the, how nice the baths are. Baths are super newer. They're not brand new. I was going to say super new, but they're newer. Ceramic tile on the floor, tank toilet, nice sink with cabinet space underneath, beautiful tiling all around. The shower head's probably about 6'3", so that shouldn't be a problem. The tub is nice and clean. Very good water pressure. So we're going all the way to the high. And you can see it's coming out in a steady, solid stream. Draining nicely. I'm going to shut that off. Oh. Oops, sorry about that. You can see it's draining beautifully. Same thing here. We have great water pressure. Draining nicely. 
Underneath, you have good storage, nice and dry, able to use as storage. Oops. We overloaded the drain, I think. There we go. And there it goes, drains right out. There is a medicine cabinet. Lots of mirrors in the medicine cabinet. I don't want this to be about me, but you got a nice light fixture on top. A little towel ring to the uh, left. Again, nice sink. Yeah, we have towel bars back above the towel. But the whole place is tiled, so it'll be very easy to keep clean. In addition to that light fixture, which is super bright, we have a nice light and a fan, which will keep the whole place dry and mildew free, which is really nice. So we'll back out of the bath, and we see it's a nice newly remodeled bath. And we come to a smaller bedroom. This for sure will do a queen or a full-size bed but not a king size bed. Closet space is also a little smaller. It's a big, it's a big closet. I mean, it's probably eight feet across with a hanging bar and a shelf. Again, maybe 15 or 18 inches uh, deep. The bedroom itself, probably nine by 10, something like that. And again, a full size or a queen size bed would be great. There's no uh, ceiling fan in this unit, but it does have the newer windows, and again, they're facing west, actually, which is towards the building next to us. The bottom are frosted, so it is nice and private. So we come out of the small bedroom, take a look at the uh, bath. We have a nice-sized bedroom. You could get a king size, but definitely queen size. Take one more look at the living area, which has an AC unit, lots of light. And we'll walk into this big kitchen area. So before I show you the, the closet in the kitchen, this is really a nice size kitchen, big enough for a table, extra furniture here, full size fridge, full size dishwasher, full size um, stove, microwave, lots of storage on top. Again, you have the laminate floors, twin stainless steel sinks. We've been checking the water pressure, but we've got it all the way on hot. It's very good. We'll get that back there. Drains very well. It's really a nice kitchen. Nice kitchens and nice baths in this unit. Underneath, super dry, so you can use that as storage. The lower cabinets are, in general, quite a bit deeper so you can put bigger items in there uh, appliances um, pots and pans the upper cabinets are your standard maple cabinets about two feet high shelves are 10 inches deep you have um, three shelves and you have a lot of these so just going to open one more Oops, didn't expect it to open that way, but there you go. They're all pretty much the same, and they surround your counter space. The small ones are just space, and you have small ones above the fridge, oops, and above the uh, microwave. You do have a couple of drawers on either side of the stove, and those are nice. And again, the... Uh, lower cabinets go quite a bit deeper and something like this would be good for cookie sheets or other pots and pans. Stove is super clean, full size, four burners, hardly used really, not much scarring or charring on the top and the inside is squeaky clean so that's nice to see. Same thing with the microwave, not brand new but certainly looks new inside nice and clean ready to use so what else have we got we've got the huge counter space and this is a rock granite countertop and you've got a couple of outlets here you've got a couple there you've got one behind the stove i thought i saw some others but that looks like it for the kitchen top you do have a dishwasher 
which again is full size, super clean, ready to go. It's just a way better than average kitchen, really. So I'm going to step back and show you again in its entirety. The window is facing, I'm not even sure, maybe east. And you have your nice appliances, including the microwave and the dishwasher. But if I stand at the kitchen sink and look back, you have all this extra space for a table or other furniture, pots and pans. You have a nice ceiling fan, the laminated floors, look into the living area. Whoops a daisy. And you have a little broom closet or pantry, however you'd like to use the closet. And there's a couple of more outlets here, depending on how you wanted to set it up. So I just want to show you how big this space is. This is probably 11 feet at least long, maybe more, and at least six or seven feet, say six feet wide. So it's really good space, easy to have a table out here and still be able to walk through and still be able to make good use of this oversized kitchen. So as we come through the area across from the kitchen, we see the second living area. So we could call the first one a family room and the second one a living room or reverse, vice versa. But they're very similar in size, uh, probably 12 feet that wall. And, or I'm sorry, more like 10 and a half feet that wall and 12 feet this wall. You see the entry, the ceramic tile entry, which is really nice. You have a second door. Um, the windows are facing the front of the building. There's actually people put chairs out here, which is really nice. You're on the ground floor. You really are not below ground, which is great. Like I say, you have a sitting area that is covered, which is really nice. If I go to the windows and look back, you see a big closet. You see another bedroom. You can't see the bath, but it, there is a bath, and across from the bath is a very big closet. In the living room, however, in addition to having outlets on every wall, we have this huge, probably eight feet across, maybe not, maybe seven feet across. That's uh, more like 15 inches deep. Great entry closet, great living room closet, hanging bar and shelf. Before we walk back, I'll give you one more look. You see the far living room with the air conditioner. Uh, the, the stove and the microwave from the kitchen. And then this is the second living area, which is maybe just a little smaller than the first one. If I turn around, we get our first look at the bedroom and the air conditioner in there. If I go to my left, I have this huge walk-in closet. Got to be five feet deep and three feet across. A couple of shelves, it has its own light. If I look across from the closet, we come to the second bedroom. Uh, still a super nice remodeled bathroom. I think I said bedroom, but I meant bathroom. Ceramic, very much like the first one. Ceramic tile floor, tank toilet. Little different, but nice. A um, little smaller sink and cabinet space underneath. You see the tile ring, slightly different mirror. No medicine cabinet, just a mirror. Uh, beautiful tiles, hanging bar, super clean tub, and we'll check the water pressure. There we go. Took a second to come out, but now it's coming out really well. Again, you're about 63 inches high. Good water pressure there. We we'll check this down. It looks amazing. And we see it all trains out really well. Sink will be the same way. Underneath. The cabinet will be similar. Whoops, a daisy. Oh. oh, I got a sticky one, so I don't want to pull too hard. But there you see that you can dry and then use it as storage. This toilet actually looks almost new, which is nice outlet there. 
and a nice mirror. And you have the fan in here, which is really nice. And you can see it's super clean. And the fan will help keep it that way, which is exactly what you want. So we have the bathroom, second bathroom, across from the big closet, which basically from the living room into the bath and the big closet, and then into the bedroom. And this bedroom is sort of, it's the longest bedroom. So this is probably 12 or more feet across, maybe a little bit more, but it's not quite as wide. So if I walk in towards one of the closets, I would say it's probably eight and a half or nine feet wide. So again, it'd be great for a queen bed. You could put a king bed in here. You'd have plenty of space down at the closet end or depending on where you put it. But it's really probably not perfect for a king bed. Probably better for a queen and you see the air conditioner, big ceiling fan. And the closets are also big. We have his and hers. Whoopsie daisy. Probably six feet across. 15 inches deep. And then we have another one. Well, I'm going to call it five feet across. It doesn't make sense that it's 12 feet wide in total. So let's call it five feet across. And then we have this big long space here. And it's really very big. So there's a lot you could do with that. The windows again are facing the building next door and have frost, frosted bottom, so it'd be very easy to create privacy. We'll come out of the bedroom, take one look at the uh, second bath, last look at the uh, big closet, walk through the, say, family room, walk through the eating kitchen, part of the kitchen, take another look at the kitchen, which is really big and very nice, and come into the living room where we started and head toward the front door. Thanks for watching.